This is no ordinary quarry. It's where the living once buried their dead. Gaza's Bani Sahela Cemetery, hollowed out by Israeli excavators. These were all graves. This was a cemetery, but the military says that they were forced to come in here because they discovered a Hamas tunnel running right underneath that cemetery. But the Israeli military failed to prove that stunning claim during a three-hour tour of the area. They invited us here a week after we first uncovered this graveyard's partial destruction using satellite imagery, part of a CNN investigation that found 16 cemeteries in Gaza damaged or destroyed by the Israeli military. This whole area here is a military compound. From the mosque over there, underneath the graveyard, all the way down north and south. My forces, at the beginning, we try to flank this area, were fired from this area again and again and again. They couldn't understand why. So that's how you determine that there was a, a tunnel here, because you were being fired upon? Yes, sir. Our journey to investigate the Israeli military's claims begins in the rubble of what they say was a residential building. Even just standing at the mouth of this tunnel, you can feel the humidity just like emanating here. And this is the way that we go in to what they say is an extensive tunnel system in Bani Suhela. We descend into a dark, seemingly endless labyrinth. There's just tight spaces like this in certain parts of this tunnel. But then you get here and you have full headspace pretty much. All throughout it, you can see that there's electricity, there's telecommunications. The Israeli military says that this tunnel system actually leads to a Hamas command center, which they say was used by Hamas fighters to coordinate their attacks. The Israeli military says this is that command center. Multiple rooms equipped with plumbing and electricity. Maps like this once lining the walls. You can see a kitchen here equipped with a sink, running water, with the pipes running through the tunnel wall, you have a fan, plates. I mean, you could imagine this being in a house, but instead it's deep, deep underground. Where are we right now? I mean, what's above us? So we're in the headquarters of a Hamas commander. Uh, above us is a cemetery uh, that I showed you from the outside. If you look at the satellite imagery of this cemetery, there is a wide area that the military has cleared. Why is that necessary in order to uncover these tunnels? We had to reach the tunnels. We had to reach the tunnels. We had to uncover the tunnels. We had to prevent from the enemy to flank us. But there's no way for us to verify whether we are actually beneath the graveyard. General Goldfuss takes us back out of the tunnel, but not into the cemetery. Instead, we leave the same way we came in, before walking back to the enormous hole where the cemetery once stood. Please, hold on a second. Yeah. We're asking the general if we can actually see the shaft to the tunnel. But the answer is no. So? There's all kinds of machinery which I don't want you to, uh, just to take pictures of, the security of my force. But what about if we don't film it? We just no look with our eyes. And we... you, you might fall in. The whole thing can collapse. So you have to walk to the edge. The edge is not secured. It can collapse. There's machinery, so on. It's, it's not something I'm going to take a risk on. Sorry. The Israeli military later provided this drone footage, showing the tunnel shaft we entered and another one nearby. CNN geolocated the footage using this satellite image. This outline shows where the cemetery once stood, and these are the two tunnel entrances clearly outside the graveyard. As for the tunnel they say they found here, where the cemetery once stood, the military never provided any evidence.